In traditional supervised learning, the sample is only labeled with a single class. However, real-world objects must be complicated and have multiple semantic meanings simultaneously. For example, we think this picture could be related to giraffe, zebra, and even the grassland. To account for the multiple semantic meanings that one real-world object might have, one direct solution is to assign a set of proper labels to the object to explicitly express its semantics. Following the above consideration, the paradigm of multi-label learning naturally emerges. In many real-world applications, abandoned unlabeled data is easy to obtain. Nonetheless, it is generally demanding and time-consuming to obtain labels for training examples, especially for multi-label learning tasks where a number of class labels need to be annotated for the instance. Therefore, a natural remedy is to consider semi-supervised multi-label learning, which makes use of readily available unlabeled data to help build the predictive model. Most of the attempts towards semi-supervised multi-label learning work under the transductive setting, which only focuses on classifying given unlabeled data and thus cannot generalize to uncertain instances. In many cases, it is more desirable to endow learning system with the inductive ability of making predictions on uncertain instances other than existing labeled and unlabeled data. Holy crap! That's what we exactly want! Based on this consideration, a novel approach named COINS is proposed. It learns from labeled and unlabeled data by adapting the well-known training strategy. Here come the questions. When enabling co-training for the task of learning from multi-label data, how to split the single-viewed data into two views? How to satisfy the two assumptions? How to achieve effective supervision information communication between the classifiers? And which information should be communicated? All these questions above have been solved in coins. Let's get into the details.